Oh, wow. So <laughs> my hair right now is all sorts of, it's just, this is like straight, this is like a, like a mom haircut. I feel like I should be driving my kids to soccer practice right now. Like, Johnny, get your shit. We're going to soccer practice. Like, oh my God, I hate it. I just keep looking at it in the, it's terrible. So uh, the reason why my hair is like that is because my sister got married yesterday. Wow. And I was in the bridal party. I was not, I was not the maid of honor. Sorry, I just need to fix this. I was not the maid of honor because my sister did not like me until like maybe last year. It took a while. She's kind of a lot older than me, like at least six and a half years. So, I mean, it makes sense. And I was kind of an asshole up until that point. So I don't blame her. I was like kind of the worst, but yeah. So I had to do a lot of Glam, bitch. Glam. Look, I got my nails done. It was terrible. So that's what this is about. This is about me complaining about being glammed up because that's just not, it's not my jazz, man. It's not my vibe. So I had to get all sorts of things done to me. I got a manicure, which was not great because I don't like being touched by people. So I was getting my hands all sorts of rubbed up on and it was... I did not enjoy it at all. At one point throughout the, the appointment, I looked at the lady, I was like, oh yeah, this is like my first manicure ever. I actually haven't really painted my nails ever either. So I guess it's all like a first. And she was like, oh, that's great. You're gonna love it. And I was like, oh, I'm sure I will. And then as she was like doing the cuticles or whatever those are called, I was like, oh yeah, I usually just rip those out. And she looked at me and like gasped in horror. She was like, honey, no, like, please self-care like look after yourself don't do that and i was like i'm sorry like i laughed straight in her face because i was like well they usually just bleed and i'm fine with it but yeah so that was that i went directly from a nail appointment to a tanning booth so like already just so out of my comfort zone get to the tanning booth it's like a freaking death trap man it's like this tiny little cylinder that you gotta step into and like they give you three minutes or so to change before you lock yourself in this even smaller like fucking canteen. But you close yourself in there and you can't open your eyes or anything. Like you have stuff on your eyes, like those weird little like tape circle things. I think they're called winkies, which is awful. So you put those on, like your eyes are closed. You don't know when the lamps are gonna turn on. They don't have like a countdown or like a voiceover thing being like, oh, like we're gonna turn. No, I'm freaking just standing there. And then all of a sudden the lights like blast on and there's freaking ton of wind. I'm like in the stand up full blown gonna get skin cancer, UV radiation blast type of deal. So they had to have like wind in there. So I was in a freaking tiny, like literally one foot diameter wind tunnel. And I like, I'm not claustrophobic usually, but I almost started panicking. Like it was terrible. So I was only in there for six minutes, but I had no sense of time. An entire year could have passed and I would not have known. I had no clue how long six minutes was with my eyes closed in this freaking death trap. But yeah, so that was also strange. Um, that was a few days before the wedding. We rented an Airbnb to like, I'll get ready in. Yesterday morning, wake up at 6 a.m. early bitches. Like it's time to get our glam on. The hair and makeup people like arrive. We're on rotation for all that because it takes like a really long time to get this in check. I have really thick curly hair. So everyone else's was like kind of taking like 45 minutes, whatever. Mine like straight up took an hour and 15 minutes and like two full packs of bobby pins to just get it back and in place. <laughs> I got my makeup done last and that took like 30 minutes for her to put my face on like talking full thing like foundation, contour, freaking fake eyelashes, which are terrible by the way. I've never worn them before, but it's like you have a goddamn visor on your eyes at all times. Like you can see them and feel them. So, you know, when she finished that and showed me in the mirror, I almost had an identity crisis because I didn't even recognize myself. And then like looking down at my hands, I was like, these are my hands. Because like, I literally, the whole thing, I was like, who is that? Like, that is not me. And that was kind of stressful to be quite honest. But 
it's whatever there are worse things in the world but yeah i can't stress how much i didn't look like myself like when i was walking or walked in to then walk down the aisle of the church my own family members did not recognize me it took like a full minute before i was like halfway down the aisle that my aunts actually like a few of them gasped and were like oh, holy shit that's julie i was like ew what's up guys like <laughs> what's up <laughs> i don't know i literally started laughing they didn't even recognize me like but it's over she's married i don't have to do that ever again i'm hoping every single time i make one of these i'm like nobody cares but i don't know i think it's just i just wanted to mention it because yeah i kind of had to go through that it was a little stressful <laughs> Although it shouldn't be like why am I complaining about it? Like I didn't even have to pay for any of it So I'm just like, oh my god, they like made me look nice Like what the fuck like those bitches like no like I appreciate all the hard work that went into it It's just I don't think I'll ever do it again. All right. Well, that's that's it hoping that this is enough to to quench your needs <laughs> right now. So yeah, all right I'll see you